Hi, I'm Fred McNeil. You're watching QAC TV7. We're going to give you an update. I've got my good friend George O'Donnell with us. George, thanks for being with us on a beautiful day. Well, it's lovely. It's always pretty on the Canton Hours. Today's a special day. Tell us a little bit what we've got going on here today. Well, the Oyster Recovery Partnership uh, Program that uh, Harris's participates in, the, 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 the county is going to put uh, $5,000 from the commissioner's budget, five, well, it's all commissioner's budget, but $5,000 also from, from the Economic Development Office to enhance oyster programs uh, for the watermen uh, of Queen Anne's County. And we're just, we're delighted they're doing it. Other areas have done it. We've done it here before. But to, to regenerate this program shows that the commissioners know how important the seafood industry is. The oysters are filter feeders, and they're making a, a, a serious comeback in the lower bay, and we're trying to get the upper bay up to speed. And it's a win-win for everybody, right? We're gonna have, the oysters are going to help clean up the bay. It's going to stimulate some economic development. And we've got it right here at Kenton Arrows getting things underway. A absolutely. The, the Harris uh, group here does a fabulous job, and these shells will be recycled. They're taking them out, out of the water, and they shelk them. Then they, they get the eyed larvae to attach to them, place them on their oyster grounds, take them up, and recycle so it, 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 it continues. It, it, it's uh, a big step in sustainability for the oyster industry. This is one of the things that a lot of us commissioners ran on, and I think this is economic development. The county commissioners in this past budget um, allocated five grand from the county to give to the, the Waterman Association to help pay for what they call the seedlings for the oysters right. that replenishes it in the bay. The local fishermen will fish that, bring it back here to most likely Harris's where it gets processed and sold. Also, economic development is going to donate five grand and hopefully do this every single year. And just builds up our economy. It builds up our local base. And it's a win-win. The oysters help clean up the bay through their natural filter. We've got local businessmen profiting. Absolutely. And in the long run, us consumers are going to profit. Absolutely. I think everybody here in Queen Anne's County is going to profit from this in the long run. I'm with Troy Wilkins, who's the president of the Queen Anne's County Watermen's Association. Troy, thanks a million for being with us, okay? Good. Now, tell me about this great project. You know, this project is, is going to help us economically. And it's going to help the environment. We're going to clean up the bay, which the oysters have been doing for millions and millions of years. Yeah, well, we hope it's going to be win-win for everybody. We're with Jason Ruth now. Jason, thanks for joining us. Yes, okay, yes. remind everybody of the class of what at Queen Anne's County? 1989. Yeah. And you survived my earth science I class. I did. I survived your earth science class, and I think I've uh, took a little bit out of it and maybe uh, furthered my life with it. You've gone a lot further than I ever did. Jason, tell us about the wonderful project you got going on here. Well, uh, we started this project a couple years ago where we actually... Uh, um, we take our local oyster shells uh, left over from our production and we introduce the larvae from that's produced at the University of Maryland Horn Point. Um, we take that larvae, we introduce it to the shells and we've been using it to rehab some leases that we've had over the years and uh, we're looking forward to doing some projects for the local waterman community here going forward. One thing we're constantly battling uh, in this bay is water quality. Um, you know, with oysters being the biggest filter feeders we have here, I think it's a phenomenal thing. So as many animals as we can get in the water as possible, the better off we are, all are. Um, but, at, you know, from my business standpoint, it's great. Uh, you know, I'm very, we're very successful as a company when we have product to uh, produce here. And without putting back a little bit each time and working with these watermen uh, through some of these projects, um, by enabling to, by doing that, we're able to give ourselves product all year round and sustain this company and, and move forward. You know, one of the things that we look at are what are our target industries here in the county? Who do we want to try to help grow and support? And there are a lot of cutting edge companies out there, but there are a lot of traditional companies that are part of our history. And the seafood and ag industries are two of those. So what we see is with the Watermen's Association here is that, you know, they are a group that represents a lot of independent businessmen here. They have their own boats, they go out, they work hard, they they are important to this local economy. And anything we can do to help support that business and strengthen the industry here we want to do. And we heard about the restoration projects. We heard about some of the other things that they're doing that are really you know putting Queen Anne's County on the map again as far as a seafood uh, destination yeah, sure. in terms of, of the economy here. And so when we talked to Troy and found out what his group was doing, we said 
this is a worthwhile investment. I mean, you know, we're investing in all kinds of businesses right now, from guitars to distilleries, and it's important, though, that we come back and invest in those businesses and those individuals that have made the economy what it is today in Queen Anne's County, and the seafood industry is exactly that. And we've heard nothing but praise. We heard it from Jason Muth, who, of course, is here at Harris's. We heard it from Troy right. Wilkins, the head of the Waterman's Association. They're all delighted that everybody wins, the environment wins, your economic development wins, and the whole community wins. It, absolutely. You know, when, when you think about what makes this place so special, it is that, the, the, you know, the, again, our roots. Our roots are ag and, and seafood. And so, you know, to be able to have these guys go out and come up with creative ways to help strengthen the industry, to grow the oyster uh, supply here, very, very important for us. And so when we looked at, you know, we do grants, like I said, and loans for a lot of different companies, and yet we hadn't done anything really for the seafood industry. And so we said, uh, we got with the board, with our county commissioners, and we said, we have money in our budget to do this, and you guys can do it as well. So we're putting $10,000 in total, 5000 from economic development, 5000 from the commissioners. And while that's a modest amount, we know that it, every bit helps. And so we're going to try to do what we can to support these guys.